Wow, that was a cool little thing that uh, my updated phone just did, trying to get uh, logged on to the live. Greetings, everyone. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. It's a very busy, hectic day here at HQ. We're getting everything ready for Swarm Fest. Pull this up, see who's watching with us. Turn that down so we don't get any feedback. Who was it that just gave me a thumbs up? Show your name. Kenny, what's up, man? How are you doing, man? How's the week treating you? I hope it's treating you well. I hope you had an amazing weekend as well, man. I'll tell you what. Let's see, tilt that up a little better. Okay, that does look better. Okay, great. Kenny, are you going to be joining us next weekend? I'm looking forward to seeing uh, who we got coming, who's going to be with us um, in body or in spirit. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's, it's going to be the first show I've done, God, since September, November of 2019. So yeah, it's been a while. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. But you got to... Uh, you know, hopefully we'll, uh, our cross will path, our, our cross will path, our cross will pass soon. <laughs> Call me speech impediment. So you guys are all in the room. Give me, give a shout out. Tell me who you are. Tell me how's your day going. Turn up the brightness so that I can see anything. There we go. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear that. Jimmy's in the house. Jimmy, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Um, yeah, for all you don't know, Swarm Fest is not this weekend, but the following weekend. We're nine days out. If you can believe it. Nine days out. Hi, Steve. How are you, man? Nine days out to Swarm Fest. Um, this has been a very crazy road to get here and I am so happy we are just nine days away from all of us being together enjoying each other's company and just kick it ass Eric Hart how are you I noticed uh, speaking of Swarm Fest uh, this week in Mesa is trying to change its image and make it uh, they're doing a whole campaign so um, they're really gussing up downtown I'd like to think it's because Swarm Fest is here and they realize, uh-oh, the fiends and the sworn are coming to this con. We better gussy up the town. So, yeah, they're getting it all right and partied it up for us. So I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to see what the new downtown area looks like. I'm mostly happy to just be at a show. It just seems like forever. There's still tickets available. Jimmy just push, put up the push up the post, put up the post on there. Um, in three weeks. We launch our next chapter in Lady Death, uh, Necrotic Genesis, and that'll be um, launching here in March. Uh, so we cordially invite you to join us for our launch party. It's a lot of fun, great way to see what's being revealed and uh, show you what good, beautiful additions we have for you. The our Kickstarter campaigns. They're always fun, I always love them. Dennis, what's up, man? How are you, Steve? You know what? You'll be there in spirit. I'm giving you, I'm, everyone who can't go, I, I hope you can make it to any shows we're at. Uh, I'm looking forward to meeting everyone, finally face to face. Um, and that's what I'm really excited about, to finally see you all who are coming. And those who can't make it, we're gonna meet. We're all gonna have fun together. Um, it's gonna be a beautiful thing. And um, for those who are gonna make it, I can't wait. I just can't wait. And we're launching. Uh-oh. Brandy has just walked into the room. You know what that means. Updates from Brandy. No, Brandy's going to do um, sneaky things behind my back and try not it's to make me flop. in front of your face, actually. Okay, you are in front of my face. She is in front of my face. So uh, she's in here uh, helping get everything ready here at Swarm Fest. We're getting everything... Uh, piled together, getting it all neatly stocked and all ready for you guys for the booths. 
and the boutique. It'll be really nice to see the boutique back in working order instead of uh, storage. This is what we've been using it for the last two years. Do any of you guys ever go to any comic book cons in Kansas? Brian will be. Brian is. He's going to the Planet Con coming up in April. So, yeah, Brian will be there. He is a guest. So, you should be there, Mr. Bates. Um, Steve! Steve! I will not lick his ear. That's gross. <laughs> I have no words for exactly. what the hell. Exactly. Oh, what? No, Steve. No. No. What just I, happened? I like books, not ears. <laughs> That's what it says. All right, and this is how my Wednesday is. <laughs> Anywho, uh, yeah, we're getting everything put together. We're getting um, the uh, museum, getting some really cool new stuff put in there. Everything's being curated. Everything's being clean. Everything's being spick and span for Sword Fest. Nine days out. Nine days out. I think it is. Um, but yeah, definitely, uh, I believe in the VIP newsletter, uh, we have mentioned he is going to be at the Planet Con. No, don't. Why, why do you want her to lick my ear? I, I just got to know that, Steve. I mean, what is up with the ear licking and Brandy licking my ear? That's just because she's the work wife. No, she's the work wife. She berates me and beats me. She's the oppressor. <laughs> Anywho, uh, I'm really excited. The great, the exclusives are all uh, looking great. Uh, for those who did the pre-orders, they are some amazing additions, and I'm sure we got plenty more surprises for you guys. I'm really looking forward to, uh, hey, Amy Wright, thank you for um, helping out Steve right there with the answer. Should be a, a fun show. I know um, Brian's looking forward to it. Um, I personally have never been to Kansas. I've driven through it and that's about it. Um, I've heard that it's got some really good places to eat. So if I'm ever in Kansas, I plan to do some eating. <laughs> I've heard Kansas has got some really good food. Oh, okay. Well, dude, I hope you're enjoying um, the new town you're in, Steve. Um, I remember moving my first town. It's always exciting. Um, Nerve-wracking in a bit because, you know, you're in a new town. You're not familiar with anything, but... It's a hell of an adventure, and I'm, I totally support what you're doing, and I think, uh, I hope you have a wonderful time checking out your new digs. Dude, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Amy. Brian even said, Kansas City has amazing barbecue, and now I'm thinking about barbecue spare ribs, um, some chicken. Now I'm super hungry. This is one thing about scheduling this show I neglected to do. It's like, you know, you schedule it on your lunchtime. Anywho, so I got some fun stuff for you guys on the catacombs. And speaking of the catacombs, holy cow, uh, there is only one book left uh, for Valentine's Day um, that I offered on the catacombs. It was pretty insane just um, how quickly that stuff gobbled up. So uh, because of that, in March, uh, look for some St. Patty Day stuff and um, things with the color of emerald to be offered on the catacombs that will be around St. Patty's Day. So stay tuned, I got a lot of fun stuff I gotta dig out of the vault for you guys. Um, Cause hey, let's all have some green beer together. I'll do it after work, of course. All right, who else do we got? Smallville Con, I've heard about that. I'd like to check that out. I'm a big Superman nut. All right, let's see what I got here. All right, I'm gonna go through and show you guys what's available here in the catacombs. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, start getting things uh, gussied up for Sworn Fest so we can get everything ready for you guys on time. Amy, you're going to have fun. You're going to have fun. I can't wait to see the, po uh, the pictures posted online. Please post it uh, once uh, on Facebook here on the Sworn Nation. It's always great to see you guys posting stuff of your con visits with uh, artists and other creators that have contributed here at Coffin Comics. All right. Let's go ahead and start things off right. I, I really, I was gonna put these on the um, Monday show, but I decided to hold back just because they're very beautiful. And this is uh, something we offered in the very first Valentine's Day. I worked here at HQ, and these were some of the first books I ever pulled. 
So uh, right now I have for you guys today La Muerta Pinups Paramore BP Edition. You're gonna see a theme here in a second. I also have the Naughty Paramore BP Edition. Let's see how my camera angle looks at that. Oh, beautiful. David Harrigan's the artist, guys. Good addition to pick up just before Swarmfest and get it signed. Eric, I am doing amazing. Thank you for asking. I actually feel really good today. I'm still a little sore from the accident, but you know what? Uh, I'm here with you guys. I'm here at HQ. <laughs> I get to mess with Lady Death and Coffin Comics stuff all day. Damn right, it's a hell of a great day. Next up, try a little Hell Witch Gallery, Naughty Paramore Edition. This is the BP edition. Then you guys are getting a theme going here. Jay Taylor, how are you? It's great to see you. I, I want to make it to the Smallville Con really bad. I also want, heard about the town, that uh, the change, uh, Metropolis. I guess they do a Superman uh, convention, and I'd love to go there just to, just to get the picture next to that cool Superman statue. All right, next up, this is Hell Witch Gallery, Paramore Edition, and yes, it is a BP. Boom. From the vault, I was going to uh, have these on Monday show, but I figured I'd pass on more love to you guys here on Wednesday as well. Now, I'm sure everyone's going to go crazy if these are still available. This is Lady Death Gallery, Naughty Paramore Edition. Boom. I think you guys got the theme. BPs and Paramores, David Harrigan. That is the theme for these editions that I present to you today. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. That sounds like so much fun. Thanks for giving me more info on that. All right, next up, Lady Death Gallery. This is Paramore, and it also is a VP edition. Available right now here on the Catacombs. All right. Now, this is really cool. Um, I was really stoked to get this because I've never had one to sell before. So for the first time here in the catacombs, this is La Muerte Descent, Calavera Edition. This does have Schwartzky Crystals. Schwartzky? I, I, I will never say it right unless I have vodka. Uh, maybe I'll, I should have Brian uh, give me vodka so I can say Schwartzky Crystals right over the weekend. So I have this last copy available right now for La Muerte Descent. Calavera. Very cool to find out. It's very good. Miguel! What's up, man? Nine days, Miguel. Nine days. Nine days, man. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, God. This is another thing that's great about working for Coffin. It is a true community, and we try to show you that we are a community. We're not just publishers. We're fans like you. All right, we bring down the curtains. We try to get out, to get to know you, hang out with you, let you know a little bit about ourselves. That's why Coffin Comics is the best damn publisher in comics ever. Ever. You'll be there today. All right. Um, I believe they're not scheduled to ship out till next month, if I'm not mistaken, because everything needs to go to her to get signed. So it'll probably be... March, late March, possibly April, actually. Oh, let's see, the Sun K editions. Let me pull this up. Ah, I won't show up on my phone. Uh, Miguel, I'll go ahead and uh, actually maybe Jimmy can pull up. It's Eric Hart. Um, I know the books. Yes, things they do be late because we, um, if you pay for a signature, we got to send it to her, obviously and get her signatures on all those books. So, Eric, I wish you were coming. <laughs> There's so many people I wish were coming that I miss you all. Um, thank you. Thank you, everybody. All right, another one found. Um, this is a really cool medal. This is a Lady Death Merciless Onslaught Medal Edition. Bam! Another book uh, I haven't had in a very long time. Well, I got one right here, right now, the very last copy. And I went ahead and made some combo packs. We only had two copies left of uh, La Muerta Revelations Naughty Mama Z. 
So Brian had signed some, and I have the matching metal card also signed by Brian, and that will be a twofer offered today. And then also I have the last few metal cards of the La Muerta homage. So they get the book that's signed by Brian and the card also signed by Brian. That is my two combo offerings today. Let's see who else is up there. Week ending, I, thank you, that's estimated. Hooked on fives. Why do you guys always, why do you guys got to say hooked on fives? What, what, am I that bad? Hooked on, I think that's spelled with a K if it's the chronic I think you're thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god anyways everybody it's uh it's been a really great show it's been a great week nine days are all that's left for sworn fest you gotta get your tickets if you haven't gotten already there's still a chance come on out even the whole city of mesa is getting itself gussied up for us why because it's the sworn nation it's sworn fest it's coffin comics they roll out the red carpet for us when you folks are coming out here to visit us and we're taking over the town. I cannot wait. Hooked on cell phone. I like that one. <laughs> yes, justice for Jeff. She's not in here. Justice for Jeff. Justice for Jeff. I can say that for a split second. All right, everybody. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to put uh, some food in my belly. I'm going to go ahead and uh, help out and get everything ready for Sworn Fest. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I will see you guys Monday over on uh, the Coffin TV on YouTube. I'm sworn to you. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see a lot of you in nine days. Nine days till Sworn Fest. I'm out. <laughs>